Aisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much. You are genuinely appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Libras, this is a general energy check-in. It's not going to resonate with all of you. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Do not try to force the shoe to fit. If you're trying to force the story, that means it's not yours, and that will confuse you. And if I don't want that. Spirit doesn't want that. Okay, so just take what goes with you and let go of the rest. Also, uh, if this is not your reading, feel free to book me for a personal reading, and we could get answers and clarity for your own unique situation. I also want to thank all of you for your personal bookings and your good karma donations. You are very, very much appreciated. So, with that being said, cards have already been shuffled and drawn. Uh, my booking information and more is in my description box, so feel free to browse around. And... Uh, Let's get into your reading. Let go. We got Magician and the Mirror in Reverse. Some of you Libras were dealing with someone. I keep hearing Gemini. Gemini or um, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, some of you were dealing with someone who was very manipulative. Yeah, And the thing is, this person in their arrogance, they never thought that you would find out. I feel like uh, Libras... You were with someone who thought that you weren't too bright mm -hmm. or you didn't uh, recognize things or you didn't pick up on certain things because someone thought they were going to be able to get away with something with you for a long time. The thing is, this person wasn't using their intuition. <laughs> it's funny because they were the ones who are not too bright. Not you, Libra. Not you at all. As this person, they look at you as happiness they liked being with you they like sleeping with you they look at you as someone that they could grow something with someone who's fertile for some of you you could have been with someone who wanted to have a baby with you or tried to have a child with you but they look at you as someone who is uh they could have a family with if they wanted to take it there or you may have a child or children with this person already But they look at you as someone who's abundant, uh, someone who looks good, someone who's stable, someone who's a good parent for those of you in the collective that have children. Uh, and I'm just picking up these. Someone really likes sleeping with you or they fantasize about you. Libra, yes, they do. Someone looks at you as the keys to something. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing, I got the keys, the keys, the keys. Like they could build something with you. But they kept doing these things that were, that, that's not how you build something with someone. You don't go behind their back and see other people or slide into other people's DMs or you don't do stuff like that. I feel like two Libras in the past, you weren't seeing something with someone because you weren't using your intuition and because you thought that you could have the whole shebang with this person. And Spirit wanted you to see that you were being manipulated. I'm hearing emotional manipulation and I'm feeling... It's like a, a mixture of uh, anger, resentment, sadness. It's like you saw things in the relationship and you would just give them the benefit of the doubt all the time. And Spirit's like, no, this person is playing your ass. Libra, wake up. But that was in the past. Because you have judgment. So you, <laughs> you know what I feel like, Libras? I feel like you judge this person and the universe judge this person. Mm-hmm. As this person, it's like the universe is like karma for your rocks. <laughs> right? Like, what did you think was going to happen? You think you can go around dealing with Libra like this, dealing with other people like this, and think that nothing's going to happen to you? You think you're exempt from karma? No, your ass is not. Because this person, they're going to have to atone for the shit that they did. And Libra, I feel like you judge this person and you're not... No. <laughs> you're not dealing with them. You've changed from this situation. Yes, you have. You're seeing the truth of things now. 
it's like you started to finally listen to your intuition and pay attention. And I'm hearing seen, not seen. So it's like you started to read between the lines of what this person was saying or pay attention to the things that they weren't saying. Mm -hmm. Because Libras, you were being really selfless with somebody. You were being selfless with someone who was very selfish. You understand what I'm saying? So it was always about what can you do for me, Libra? How can you benefit me? What can I get from you? How can you help me out? And this person brought a lot of, I'm hearing antagonism into your life. A lot of fighting, arguing. Someone could have been physically violent with you. I, I'm hearing domestic violence and I'm seeing someone push someone. Someone has someone up by their throat against the wall. Like, nah, nigga, that's not, no. We don't play games like that around here. I'm hearing rough sex too. For There's someone in this collective, this person liked rough sex, like want to choke you out and, and you weren't really about that life, but you wanted to be with them. So you were just like, okay, but you're not even like that. No, you're not into the whips and chains. You're not into S&M, right? You can get freaky, but you're not freaky like that. Mm-hmm. You started to be real with yourself about somebody, Libras. Like, like no holds bar, not lying about anything. You see that they're a piece of shit. You see that this person is problems. You see that this person likes to argue and fuss and fight and bring a lot of drama into your life and chaos and conflict. And Libras, when I say you judge this person, some of you, you, you are saying never going to forgive this person for the things that they did to you. The things that they said to you, the things that they should have did with you and didn't do with you and did with other people. Yes, <laughs> I'm a call their ass out. Libras, you've judged this person and you judged them harshly too. Yes, you did. Some of you, you fight with this person. Like if they try to say anything to you, you give it to them. <laughs> Whoa. Spirit said no violence, Libra, no violence. But it's, it's like you've changed. You changed so much because you started to see the truth. You started to see that you were with someone who was highly manipulative and they've been manipulating your ass. And they thought that you were a fool, but you're not. So it's like once you caught the play of the program, you're like, no, 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 no. I don't fucking think so. Don't come around here. Don't talk to me. Don't message me. If you know what's good for you, you'll just stay the fuck away from me as a matter of fact because... I will give you the smoke. Do not get it twisted. I have some smoke for your ass. So just stay where you are. Because look at this. This person has the high priestess in reverse. So like I said, this person isn't someone who listens to their intuition. This person is ignorant, short-sighted. Like I said, they're selfish as fuck. And they could be really shallow. Because I was picking up the energy of someone... They would slide into other people's DMs that they thought were better than you or looked better than you or had something over you or I'm hearing the grass is greener on the other side. They thought the grass was greener on the other side, but they wanted to have you around for the benefits. They wanted to have you in the background for the benefits that you provided. Someone in this collective, you were being hidden, like this person will come for a little nighttime flex or they want to go somewhere with you all the time where no one's around, like you don't really go to public places. Like it was a real deal uh, fucking hide and fuck i don't even know how else to say it like that's what what they were on with you like they were embarrassed to show you out or show you off in libras no you know your worth absolutely not you're connected to yourself you know who you are now this like i said this was a rebirth this situation with this person woke your ass up mm -hmm. and now you move different you're moving different with them. You're moving different with people, period. Because you realize that this person never really loved you. And how you realize that is because you love yourself now, Libras. So you're starting to recognize when something does not match, when something's not real. You realize also that you never were really satisfied with this person. And you realize that this person is never really satisfied in life either. You weren't going to get anything that you wanted from this person. This person doesn't understand you, Libra. They don't get you. You could have been real different. Um, just that your energies are very different. Uh, maybe your personalities were very different. 
But this person, they believe some things that their, their belief systems could have been very superficial, very shallow. This is someone who just cares about how things look, not how they really are. And you're, you're on something way more of substance now. A lot of you may be starting to do uh, meditation. Uh, your chakras are healing. You are shedding skin. This, And when I say shedding skin, I mean you are releasing parts of yourself that no longer resonate with who you really are anymore. That includes people as well. You're not on that bullshit anymore. You're not okay with that kind of treatment. You're not okay with those kind of experiences. Some of you, you ain't never going to be with anybody who wants to choke you out in bed and spit on you and do any type of fool. Like, no, that you're not about that kind of life, right? You're not about it. You're being true to yourself now. I feel like, too, some of you may have realized or come to this um, epiphany that you did not love yourself very much in the past. That's why you were okay with being, even if you weren't okay with being treated this way, you never said anything. You're not on that anymore. No. Because you're connecting with yourself. You're connecting with your higher self. You're connecting with source. And this is allowing you to connect with people on a deeper level. Libras, I feel like you want deeper connections in your life now. No more surface, superficial shit. Oh, they look good. Mm -hmm. I keep hearing package. <laughs> Libra, someone in this collective was with someone because they had a big package or they had big breasts or big ass. They liked the package. But Spirit's like, don't judge a book by its cover. And all that glitters is not gold. So don't judge anything by the packaging. A lot of things are packaged real fucking nicely and they're not good for you. So I realize you, I, I feel like you realize that you need to look under the surface of things with people now. Uh, read into what they're not saying. Pay attention to their energy. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to pull some more cards for you, Libra, and see what other messages Spirit has for you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for your clear and concise messages. I'm here and I understand them. Uh, what other messages do you have for the Libra Collective? Okay, this is this person. So this person, they're not happy. You were absolutely right when you recognize that this person is never satisfied in life because this is confirmation of that again. This is someone who's very unhappy. This is also someone who's not... Um, it's like nothing will ever, it doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter what you don't do, they're always going to have a problem with something. So it's like, why even bother? You can't make this person happy. And you see this, right? Like, I feel like your perspective really changed. That's why you you cast judges, judgment on this person. Because you're seeing things from a higher perspective. And that's because you're connected to yourself. You want deep shit now. You want things that are going to actually make a huge impact and real difference in your life. You're not into this just one-off, uh, one-night stands, or you're hiding me. Or like, how you build a relationship and a solid foundation with someone who's hiding you? Are you embarrassed of me? All right? And only people who go along with that are, are, are you embarrassed of yourself. Because when you love yourself, you don't let people treat you like this. And this is where you're at, Libra. This is where you're at. If someone wants to love you in private, they can love you in, in public as well, right? You can hold my hand outside. You can give me a kiss on the cheek outside. Ain't nothing wrong. You can put my face on your social media. You can put a picture of me up there. Like, what the fuck? You want to come choke me out at night and spit on me and shit? And you don't think that uh, I'm worth putting up on your fucking Instagram? Nah, bro. Nah. Look at this. You learned your lesson, baby. A lot of you, when I say your guides are talking to you, they are. And that's because you're connecting. You're allowing them. You're listening. You're allowing the messages to come in. You've learned from this. You've changed from this. Mm -hmm. Your guides are like, listen, Libra, what the fuck are you on? You need to friggin' swerve this person because... They're not on anything proper, and you're not going to get go anywhere with this person. This person's also been lying to you. They've been cheating on you. They've been stealing from you. They've been talking about you. They've been tricking your ass. Stop it. Just stop it. And you've seen this, Libras. You know better now, so you're doing better. Oh, and look at this. Look at this. This is 10 of air. This is you know that you are different. You are unique. You deserve better in your life. You're listening to yourself. You're walking your own path. You're doing you, 100%. You're doing you. Good for you, Libra. Good for you. 
It's like you're saying, you know what? Uh, I'm different and I deserve to be treated better than this. And if you don't cut it, then you get cut off. Spirit, thank you for your clear and concise messages. What last words of guidance? Oh, Spirit said, pull some more. Pull some more. I was trying to wrap this reading up, Libra. Spirit said, no, not yet, Keish, not yet. What other messages do you have for the Libra Collective, Spirit? What other messages do you have? Look at this. You know what? I, I keep being drawn to the butterflies on this card. This is transformation, right? You're not the same person that you were anymore that would put up with bullshit like this. Not at all. Yeah. And, you, and you're not reconciling with nobody. <laughs> Libra. No, you're not friends. You're not enemies. You're not anything with anybody. Not, not this energy. No, it's just like, just go away. Just leave me alone. We're not getting back together. I'm not trying to be friends with you. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Because you've seen the facts of things. You may be coming off real cold to this person right now. Like I said, you judge them, right? So it's it's just facts with them. I know what you're on. I know what you're about. And I'm not on, I'm not on that. I'm not interested. I'm just not interested. Spirit, can I get one more? I feel too, you know what it is, Libras? I feel like with this person now, you finally got into a space. Uh, you got into an energy where you're you're able to make uh, head over heart decisions with somebody, right? It's just like when you, when you sit down and you look at the things that happened in the relationship, you're like, no, why the fuck would I talk to you? If you couldn't treat me good when we were supposed to be in a romantic relationship, why the fuck do you think I want to be your friend? What kind of stupid shit is that? Yeah. This person, you know this person needs to heal. I also feel, Libra, that you know that you need to continue to do your healing because this person, they had you in your head. Yeah, they did. They kind of had you fucked up a bit. Uh, emotional wounds. Some of you, this is you learning and you having a higher perspective, you going within, doing meditation. It's really taking you back down timelines when you were younger and certain things that happened to you. And now you're you're putting the dots together and you're like, you know what, when I was growing up, maybe my parents weren't around a lot. Uh, so I'm used to that dynamic where someone's not really around and I think it's love or you were mistreated. Uh, some of you, this has to do with uh, early relationships when you just started that uh, romantic dating life when you were younger and you put up with a lot of bullshit from people thinking that it was love and now you realize because you love yourself, you realize that that's not love. So you're not going for stuff like that anymore. You're learning how to heal. And so I feel like some of you recognize within yourself that you need to continue to do your own inner healing. You need to do your own inner work. Mm -hmm. So can I get one more? Yeah, you're not fucking with anyone who's not loyal. You're also learning how to be loyal to yourself. Libras, you've drawn this conclusion and have come to this resolve that you are focused and committed and devoted to making sure that you are where you want to be emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, like all areas of your life. You are learning how to be loyal to yourself first. Spirit said, now you can pull it. <laughs> okay, Spirit, what last words of guidance and advice do you have for the Libra collective? Uh, Libra, Spirit wants you to realize that you are, you hold the keys to your abundance. You hold the keys to your happiness, not anybody else. You have to be that way with yourself first so that you attract that towards you. You attract, you don't chase. Mm -hmm. Look at the, didn't I just say that? Oh my goodness, I'm getting chills. Calling in your tribe. Didn't I just say that you attract, you don't chase? Spirit said, call in your tribe now by asking spirit to help you find unique ways to meet more like-minded people. You've changed from this. So you're not interested in these types of energies anymore. So spirit's like, go up there, go socialize. Uh, maybe you may be meeting a uh, Scorpio because I just did the Scorpio reading and they got this too, right? Um, find unique ways to meet more like-minded people. Make changes to your friendship circle now. Some of you Libras, the people that you're talking to, you need to not be talking to them anymore. Uh, some of these uh, ex-lovers that are your friends, that want, want to be your friends, Spirit said you need to swerve these motherfuckers now, okay? Because they're manipulative and they just want something from you. Take your time getting to know somebody now. This time around, this is how you do it. This is how you do it better. This is you knowing better, so you're doing better. Take time to see what somebody's on with you and see if they're in alignment with who you are now, who you know yourself to be now. You're not in the um, hide and fuck. No, you're not doing that. 
You want or you're ready to be with someone who's proud to be with you because you're proud to be with yourself. Okay, focus on self-improvement to attract positive people and relationships into your life. I cannot stress this enough with all signs that I read for. Like attracts like. It's universal law. If you are positive, if you are working on yourself, you are going to meet people that are like that too. But if you're in this energy of not using your intuition and having people around you that you know they don't really care about you, that's all you're going to continue to attract. And that's because you don't really love yourself and you don't know your worth. So spirits, like you're not in this energy anymore. You done bossed up. So keep it moving, okay? You are now attracting people to you that match your vibration. So keep it high. Because Libras, you do have good things coming towards you. That's why spirits like, listen, man, go out and meet new people. This is a new life for you, right? So you're coming into alignment with the world that you're creating for yourself. Hmm. Very powerful, Libra. This is what I have for you, honeys. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool. You have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye, baby.